Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will talk about co-emperor Lucius Verus and the coins issued in celebration of the Roman Parthian War in AD 161-166. The Roman coins issued are typical representations as transporters of imperial propaganda. I will illustrate this glorification and arrangement of reality with a few coins. The Roman coins are fascinating in that they offer an unadulterated picture of historical events. The coins are contemporary illustrations and also dated antiquities. With a coin in your hand, you travel to bygone times and places. In other words, the coins are veritable time machines. To illustrate this short presentation, I will use some images from the auction company Roman Numismatics in London, and therefore I will also take this opportunity to thank them for usage of their high quality images. Lucius Aurelius Verus was born on 15th of December in AD 130. He was the eldest son of Lucius Aurelius Caesar. His father, was also the first adopted son and heir to the Emperor Hadrian. After his biological father's death in AD 138, Lucius Verus was adopted by Emperor Antoninus Pius, who was himself adopted by Hadrian. Hadrian died later this year and Antoninus Pius succeeded to the throne. Antoninus Pius would rule the empire until AD 161 when he died and was succeeded by Lucius Verus and his adoptive brother Marcus Aurelius. Lucius Verus and his adoptive brother Marcus Aurelius eventually became one of the first co-rulers of the Roman Empire, a system for the division of responsibilities which became more commonplace towards the end of the second century. Their partnership was cemented by Lucius Verus' marriage to Marcus Aurelius' daughter Lucilla in AD 164. As emperor, the majority of Lucius Verus' reign was occupied with the war against the Parthians. The Roman Parthian War of 161 to 166, also called the Parthian War of Lucius Verus, was fought between the Romans and the Parthian empires over Armenia and Upper Mesopotamia. It concluded in 166 after the Romans made successful campaigns into Lower Mesopotamia and Media and sacked Stesiphion, the Parthian capital. A series of coins celebrating his victory was issued in Rome. On this denarius we can read following on the obverse. L. Verus Avg Arm Part Max, which is the abbreviation for Lucius Verus Augustus Armenicus Particus Maximus, and in translation to English, Lucius Verus, Emperor, Conqueror of the Armenians, Great Conqueror of the Parthians. On the reverse, we can see the typical Roman propagandistic design, the personified captive Parthia seated on the ground with her hands tied behind her back and in front a heap of conquered weapons such as a quiver, bow and a shield. In the legend we can read TR P 6 Imp 3 Cus 2 which is the abbreviation for Tribunica Potesta Sexta Imperator Tertium Consul Secundum and in translation to English Holder of the Tribunican power for the sixth time, Supreme Commander for the third time, Consul for the second time. Dating the Roman coins can be done with great accuracy, as we have from written records well-preserved information about when the Emperor assumed his various offices. Lucius Verus received the Tribunican power for the sixth time in AD 165-166, and the imperatorial acclaim for the third time occurred in AD 165. Also, the public acclaim 
Parthicus Maximus, great conqueror of the Parthians, was bestowed upon him in AD 65. And finally, he was consul for the second time in AD 161. From this, we can conclude that a coin with all these titles were issued in AD 165 or 166. However, most of the credit for the war's success must be ascribed to subordinate generals. On the return from the campaign, Lucius was awarded with the triumph. The parade was unusual because it included two emperors, their sons and unmarried daughters, as a big family celebration. Marcus Aurelius' two sons, Commodus, five years old, and Marcus Annius Verus, of only three, were elevated to the status of Caesar for the occasion. Despite triumphal processions and festivities in Rome to celebrate the victory, it was the beginning to the end of the golden years of the Roman Empire. The returning legionaries brought with them a terrible disease that would come to be known as the Antonine Plague. This epidemic may have claimed the life of Lucius Verus and lasted for some 15 years. In all, some 5 million Romans are believed to have died from the plague, with the historian Cassius Dio recording that it had a mortality rate of about 1 in 4, and at its height it caused up to 2,000 deaths a day in Rome. As much as a third of the population in some areas was wiped out, and the Roman army too was severely depleted by the plague. In the spring of AD 168, war broke out in the Danubian border when the Marcomanni invaded the Roman territory. This war would last until 180, but Lucius Verus did not see the end of it. In AD 168, as Lucius Verus and Marcus Aurelius returned to Rome from the field, Verus fell ill with symptoms attributed to food poisoning, dying just after a few days in January of AD 169. However, it is most likely that Lucius Verus may have been a victim of the Antonine Plague that was widespread during this time. Despite the minor differences between them, Marcus Aurelius grieved the loss of his adoptive brother. He accompanied the body to Rome, where he offered games to the honor of his memory. After the funeral, the Senate declared Verus divine to be worshipped as Divus Verus. Marcus Aurelius issued a number of commemorative coins for his deified adoptive brother. In the obverse legend we can read Divus Verus, which translates into the divine Verus. And on the reverse of the coins, the legend Consecratio, which has the meaning of transferring Verus from the human into the divine realm. I hope you find this video interesting and to help others with a historical and or numismatic interest watch this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. It is free to subscribe and you don't commit to anything nor will you receive any unwanted emails or offers from me and you can whenever you want end your subscription. By subscribing, liking and sharing you help YouTube's and Google's algorithms to rank up this video and thus make it easier for others with a similar interest to view this video. Also make sure to hit the notification bell to get notified when I publish new video on YouTube. Thank you for watching.